Brigadier General Frank D. Lackland became commander of the Air Corps Advanced Flying School at Kellyfield, Texas in March of 1938. The area was used primarily as a bombing range. The pilots at Kelly would bomb the flat escarpment that rose above their airfield they called the hill. Brigadier General Lackland saw the potential for expansion of the flying school into a major training facility. His innovative vision transformed Kelly Field into the nation's largest military center and the only basic training center for the Air Force. On February 21, 1941, plans were implemented to build a facility for 1,300 cadets. This was increased to 2,088 cadets in May of 1941. The new training school on the Hill was designated the Air Corps Replacement Training Center on September 30th of 1941 and saw its first class of cadets on November 12th, 1941, less than a month before Pearl Harbor. The new facility became Lackland Air Force Base on July 1st, 1947, with the official ceremonies held on July 12th. Since its initial inception, the training center has grown and distinguished itself by implementing training for women in the Air Force in October of 1948 and began the integration of black airmen in June of 1949. Even General Lackland's foresight could not have envisioned the amazing developments that have unfolded over the base's long and distinguished career. Today, Lackland has students taking advanced training in subjects from law enforcement to electronics. These students come from all branches of the military and civilian government agencies. Lackland also serves as the home for the Defense Language Institute, which teaches English to military personnel from over 30 nations. But Lackland's main function is still basic training for the Air Force Airmen under the 737th Training Group. It is a six-week course demanding the students' utmost motivation and dedication. The training center was renamed the Air Force Military Training Center on January 1, 1973, and has lived up to its nickname, the Gateway to the Air Force. When the airmen arrive, they are greeted by the training instructor and get their first glimpse of the distinctive campaign hat that is the symbol of authority and leadership. To ensure they are healthy during basic training, the airmen are given various shots for immunization. Blood samples are taken to check for blood type and other testing. The men are taken to the barbers for a new hairstyle befitting their new way of life. The airmen are taken to get their new clothes. The BDUs, battle dress uniform, will be the main set of clothing during basic training. They also are issued a separate set of clothing to be worn during physical conditioning. The airmen are taken to the BX or basics change to get toothpaste, shaving cream, and other essentials they will need to start out basic training. ID cards are required for identification when they need to go to the BX again or when visiting other base facilities that may require an identification check.
A dental examination is given to ensure the airman's best health. A medical evaluation would not be complete without an eye examination. The airmen have the setup of their medical records explained to them. Their permanent records are set up with personal information. After being tested to find their Air Force specialty code, the airmen get to choose from the top three choices from which they are qualified. Discipline is a byword in all branches of the military. And nowhere is it more apparent than during individual, squad, flight, and squadron drills. Each airman is taken step by step on the proper procedures of saluting, standing at attention, standing at ease, and marching. It is not as easy as it sounds. But once the proper techniques are learned, it is an impressive sight. The synchronized movements executed to each command instills precision and teamwork. A complete regimen of physical exercise ensures that the airmen are capable of enduring the demands of their rigorous activities in basic training and throughout their Air Force career. Push-ups, chin-ups, a variety of isometric type exercises and running give each airman stamina and endurance to tackle each task. A healthy body leads to a healthy and clear thinking airman who is able to maintain a high degree of performance with the utmost of efficiency. Nutrition is a key factor in order to keep up the airman's energy for the mental and physical challenges of basic training. The dining hall has to be efficient and organized in order to feed the volume of airmen that must be fed for all three meals. But the basic training regimen is not abandoned even during mealtime. The airmen are required to display a certain proper conduct which further enhances military discipline. Physical training is important, but learning how to properly care for clothing, organize equipment, and living areas helps to instill pride and discipline in the airmen. Periodic inspections are thorough and relentless to teach the airmen how to maintain an orderly living area and ensure that the airmen keep up this discipline. The issuance of the airman's dress uniform is an exciting day. The military uniform is a symbol of excellence and transforms the airman into part of something distinctive and more than an individual. From socks to the distinctive cap, each airman is provided with everything to give this transformation a unique stamp. <laughs> Air Force has the most sophisticated air assault planes and devices in the world. But even in today's highly technological age, there is still a need for the hands-on approach. This is no less apparent than when referring to weapons. Each airman is given a block of instructions on the proper maintenance and operation of the M16 rifle.
After the M16 rifle class, the airmen are taken to the firing range. But before they fire their first round, they have lunch. Since this isn't the dining hall, they're given the military's version of fast food, MREs, or meals ready to eat. This is Chow in the great outdoors. Principles taught in the rifle class are finally put to the test. The airmen fired the M16 rifle in different positions to give them a feel for this special weapon that may save their life someday. All of the fundamentals of sighting and breathing techniques are put to practical application. All airmen are required to fire the weapon for qualification. Right, let's go right three and down two more. Good job. How about you? You went up instead of down. Marksmanship Training Day is very eventful, and it's not over yet. After the airmen qualify with their weapons, they march to the bivouac site for the field training experience, which is designed to enhance the warfighting atmosphere. At the confidence course, the airmen find out why they do all their physical conditioning. The course is long and physically demanding. Many of the obstacles are high and take not only physical stamina, but a lot of heart. This is where the airmen have to dig down deep and pull out all the stops. The faint-hearted will not be able to cut it. Though most of the obstacles are individually negotiated, the course is also a time for teamwork. Encouraging each other along helps to build a spirit of comradeship that bonds the individuals into a unit. Many of the obstacles are negotiated over water. If the airmen can't quite complete the obstacle, at least it's a cool drop. It is the end of a grueling day of training. The retreat gives special emphasis to the completion of the duty day. This ceremony gives honor not only to the airmen who have accomplished what seemed in the beginning to be almost impossible, but also honors the flag of our great nation. The retreat ceremony re-emphasizes why we have armed forces and what they stand for. The flag is a symbol of our way of life, of the freedom we have and what it has taken to get it and maintain it. This is a proud moment on many levels. The pomp and ceremony gives each participant a chance to reflect within themselves on what is so fine about our country. It's graduation day. This is the day that spurred many of the airmen on. It was the brass ring that they strive to obtain. For those that persevere, it stands as the first milestone in their Air Force career. Graduation parade gives special pride and honor to those who participate. It is their time to bask in the glory of their accomplishments.
flights carrying our national, state, and territorial flags are from the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 305, and Honor Flight 304, led by Staff Sergeant James Santos, hometown Mobile, Alabama, and Cadet Second Class Byron Armstrong, hometown San Antonio, Texas. Squadron Commander is Master Sergeant Eugene Rose, Section Supervisor, 322nd Training Squadron, Hometown, Council Bluff, Iowa. It is also a proud day for the family and friends who have come to watch. They see not that anxious young person who left to face unknown challenges, but a competent professional ready to strive for further heights. After all the ceremonies are concluded, the airmen can relax. It's been six long weeks, and parents, grandparents, girlfriends, wives, and children have looked forward to this day as well. The airmen catch up on what's been going on at home and bask in their loved ones' praises. people get on the dots everybody else get behind them y'all line up before you leave how they were, how they were. the second row move your left till you touch the man's shoulder on your left keep moving yeah that's it all the floor you fellas with the brushes in your hand turn face this way now bend over forward like you're gonna pick something up. Start another row of glasses. Brush from the back of your neck over the top of your head. Everybody look over there so we don't have to see. Get around behind the flat back. Everybody step up and man by the Man behind him, move up. Don't move over. Man behind him, move up. Back it up. Still in that hole. Should be directly behind. Everyone should have two hundred and forty one dollars. That's on your card. That takes care of your haircuts the whole time you get free. Step on up in there, young man, all the way up. Step on up. All the way up in there. The rest of you back there, step on up, fill it in. If you're on the front row, you kind of take turns all up and down that front row, chair closest to you. The man by the side you went last time, you probably go next. Fellas, if you need to use a latrine, the next set of doors down that brick wall, if you go in, it'll be your left. No, get outside! Damn, I just told him he had to go over and get you. I just told him I'm gonna go back. All you gotta do is go outside and the next set of doors, go in, you don't go over and have it. Getting out of the chair on the other end. When you get up, go to your right. Getting out of my chair, go to the left when you get up. Getting out of the middle chair, whichever way is open. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The back of your neck over the top of your head. You can turn your canteen back around to the back as soon as you get over that way. Push off here, 
Like both of them have big data. Come to the right end, there's two spaces on the second row. Talking to you way back there in the back. Go to the other end. Yeah, you young man looking around. Go on to the other end. You in the back, go to the other end. There's a hole right there. Right there. I need to get a hearing aid, man. I don't know. I wish you was talking to somebody else. Who was he looking at, man? That was the new one. I thought I was looking at him. <laughs> and pointing at him, but maybe you across that. <laughs> Same line down on the floor. Tips of your toes on the same line, look down on the floor. Somebody tell me. Your two big toes, one on each side of it. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Left foot on that red dot, see it? Everybody. 
When y'all get out of the barber chair, you're gonna walk over that wall I was talking about is behind where y'all are standing. That's where the brushes are. You're gonna walk over there. Get team back around on the back side of it. Everybody in the second row, move it to your left. There's three spaces down here on the end. People getting out of my... behind someone six inches from their heels. Stay where you are, you're in the front row. Now they gonna get behind you if you're gonna get behind him. Come on. Somebody moves out of the front of you, all you gotta do is move up. That's right, come on up here. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yeah. Right here, sir. Hey, don't get out of the line. Stay in line. I just wanna know where you're at. When that man moves, you're gonna be right there where he is, okay? Step out when he moves. Y'all get shots already? No, no sir. Get the man on that big peaky looking there. Move. 
Pivots. We got three blades. Nothing like that. Get a double blade. And nothing that pivots. Hi, I'm Aaron First Class Gerhard. I'm from East Liverpool, Ohio. I just like to say hi to all my family and friends back home. Hi, I'm Airman First Class Cooster, and I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad at home in Pennsylvania, and I'm having a great time here. Hi, I'm Airman First Class Sully. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad and my two sisters, Sabine and Patricia. Hi, I'm Airman Gordon from Jonestown, Pennsylvania. I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad. Hi, I'm Airman Matthew Clark. I'm from Wellington, PA, and I'd like to say hi to my family and my friends. Hello, I'm Airman Preston. I'm from Nicholson, PA, and hello, Mom. Hi, I'm Airman Malay from Gusty, Kentucky. I'd like to say hi to all my family back home. Hi, I'm Airman Francis, a champong. I would like to say hi to my girlfriend. Hi, I'm Airman Cook. I'd just like to say everybody in Oregon, you rock. Hi, my name's Airman First Class Saunders, Stephen Saunders. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I'd like to say hi to my parents and my family and friends. Hi, I'm Airman Gibson. I'd like to say hi to everybody back home in Missouri. Hi, I'm Airman First Class Everton. I'd like to say hi to uh, all my friends and family back in Phoenix, Arizona. Hi, I'm Airman Fash. I live in Rosity, Ros Michigan. I'd like to say hi to all my family and friends. Hi, I'm Airman Basic Mossler. I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad, my brother and sister, and everybody back in uh, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Hi, this is Airman First Class Love from Knoxville, Tennessee. Sending all my love to my family and Heather. Hi, this is Airman Dorman. I'm from Ripley, New York. I'd like to say hi to everybody back home. This is Airman First Class Furtado. I'm from Orange Park. Um, let's see. Let's see, uh, hi, Mom and Dad and uh, Christy. Um, I love you very much. Hi, my name is Airman First Class Hanson. I'd like to say hi to my parents and to all my friends and my brothers and sisters. Hi, I'm Airman Dangerfield. I'd like to say hi to my mom and dad and I love you, Brandy. Hi, I'm an Airman First Class Fillmore from Morristown, Tennessee. I'd like to say hi to my family and friends back home. Hi, I'm Airman Marisigan, and I'd like to say hi to my mom, family, and friends back at home in Quincy, Michigan. Hi, I'm Airman Walkenbach. I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family back in Herman, Missouri. Hi, I'm Airman First Class Scott Ferguson from Mesa, Arizona. I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family back in hometown. <laughs> hi, I'm Airman First Class Babcock. I'd like to say hi to my mom, my fiance, all them kids in Forest Park. Much love. I'd like to say hi to all them kids at Bigford sitting there eating cheeseburgers right now because it is for lunchtime for them. Hi, I'm Airman First Class Silas. I'd like to say what's up to everybody back in Chicago. And uh, I'll be getting out of here pretty soon. Hi, my name is Ruben Dixon. I'm Airman First Class. I'd like to say hi to everybody back in North Chicago. Hi, I'm Airman Basic Bedoya. I like, I'm just chilling here in the House of Madness. I'd like to say hi to my friends and family back in Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, I'm Airman Mills from Park Forest, Illinois. I'd just like to say hi to all my friends and family back home. Hi, I'm Air Airman Watts. I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family at Florence, Oregon. My name is Airman Haglin. I'd just like to say hi to my family back home in Florida. My mom, my dad, I'd just like to say hi to my girlfriend, Sarah, who's home back in Florida, my grandparents up in New York. Hi, my name is Airman Marshall, and I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family back in Missouri, and I wish to see them very soon. My name is Airman Basic Thomas. I'm currently at Lackland Air Force Base Basics right now. I'd like to say hello to my mother and my father and all my people back in Virginia, and I'd like to say hello to my girlfriend. And hello, Tanisha. I love you. Hi, I'm Airman Basic Farron. I'm from California. I want to say what's up to Stoney and my mom and my dad, and that's about it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Irma Carrera, and I want to say hi to all my friends back in Miami, my girlfriend, my mom, my dad. I love you people, and I hope to see you soon. Hi, my name is Aaron Basic Githens. I just want to say hi to my parents, 
and my girlfriend that I love with all my heart. Hi, my name is Airman Kurtenbach. I'm from Iowa. I'd like to say hello to my girlfriend Amy and my mother and my brother uh, Lisa and Russell Kurtenbach. Hi, my name is Airman Basic Sinks. I'd like to say hello to my family back home in Troy, Missouri. Hi, my name is Airman Basic Wilkerson. I'd like to say hello to all my people in Tennessee and in Maryland. And I'd like to say uh, hi to my mom and my brother and my dad and my girlfriend. I just want to tell everyone that I love them. Hi, my name is Airman Basic Lever, and I'd just like to say hi to my parents and everybody back in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is Airman Peavy. I want to say hi to all my friends back in Martin, Michigan, and say hi to my mom, my stepdad, my brother, my sister, my grandma and grandpa. Thank you. Hello, my name is Airman Franco. I'm from West Virginia. I'd just like to say hello. I love everyone. Take care. Hello, I'm Airman, Airman Basic Jack, and I just want to say hello to everyone back in Mifflinburg. Hello, my name is Airman Basic Woolrich, and I'm from Sacramento, California, and I like to say hi to all my folks. Uh, I'm Airman Basic Craig. I'm from Georgia. I'd like to say hey to my parents and to my girlfriend, let her know I'm coming back home to her. Hi, I'm Airman Basic Carlson. I'd like to say hi to all my family back in Minnesota. Hi, my name is Airman Basic Rutledge. I'd like to say what's up to my parents and my little sister and all my friends in St. Louis, Missouri. Hi, my name is Airman Basic Sawyer. I'd like to give a shout out to all my boys in West Burlington, past, present, and future. And I want to say hello to my mom and dad. I love you very much, and I'll be praying for you. Hi, I'm Airman Basic Hicks, and I'd like to say hello to my family and to my girlfriend. Hi, I'm Airman Beckridge. I'd like to say hi to my mother and father, my brother, Jay, and all my friends from Buffy, Nebraska. Hi, I'd like to say my name is Cody Edwards from Nebraska. I'd like to say I love you, Mom, Dad, Sarah, all my friends. Thank you. Hi, my name is... Amber Basic Howell from Jacksonville, Florida. I'd like to say hi to my girlfriend Rebecca, which I love so much, and all my friends and family and youth group. Hi, I'm Amber Basic Kane. I'd like to say hi to everybody who wrote me letters, everybody back in Arizona. Thanks. Hi, my name is Aaron Basic Dunlap. I'd like to say hi to my mom, my dad, all my friends back in Ohio. Hi, I'm Amber Basic Mouton from Atlanta, Georgia. I'd like to say hi to my mom, Deborah, my little baby sisters at home, my girlfriend, Janae. Hi, my name is Airman Anderson. I'm from Traverse City, Michigan. As you can tell by the glasses and the fatigues, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for my wife, Megan, my son, Jacob, and both my parents. I love you, and I want to make you proud. Hi, I'm Airman Robidoux from Pennsylvania, and all I like to say is, Godspeed. Hi, my name is Airman Basic Justin Blakely. I'm from Mesa, Arizona. I'd like to say hi to my parents and to some of my friends, Cynthia, Rose, Sarai, and Orion. Yeah, I'm Joe Claxton from uh, Titusville, Florida. I'd just like to say hello to my whole family down there and all my friends and uh, everybody I ever knew. Hi, my name is Airman Hubble. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I'm just going to say hi to my family and friends who happen to watch this tape. Hi, my name is Airman Busk, and I'm from Inglewood, Florida. I just want to say hi to my wife and uh, my parents and everything and all my friends up back home and up in Washington. Uh, I'm Emma Johnson. I'd just like to say back home to my boys. Just say hello to Joe from Angola, Florida. He's my buddy. He's my buddy here, too. We're pretty good friends. Hey, Merriman Parks, California. I'd like to say hi to my mom and my brother, Rob. No, I miss him. Hi, I'm Merriman Norris, and I'm from uh, Pennsylvania. I'd just like to say hi to my mom, my girlfriend, my little sister. Hey everybody back home, this is Airman Huffman. I'd just like to say hi to my parents, my brothers, and all my friends, and grandparents, and family, and last but not least, my girlfriend. Miss you all. Hi, I'm Airman Gray. I'm from Marriott, Ohio. I want to say hi to my beautiful girlfriend, Terry Lynn, and her parents, and my parents, and my brother. Hi, I'm Airman Salonetro from uh, Pennsylvania. I just want to say hi to my friends and family. Hey, I'm Emma Manette from Philadelphia. I'd like to say to my mom, I love her. I miss my twin brother, and I'll see you soon. I'm Aaron Taylor. I'm from Medford, Oregon. I'd just like to say hi to my parents, my mom, and dad, and my uh, pets, too. <laughs> Hello, my name is Aaron Garlic. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'd like to say hi to my girlfriend, Kayleen, my parents, and my, even my little brother, amazingly enough. Hi, I'm Aaron Davis. I'd just like to give a shout out to my girlfriend and my parents back home, my little sister. Hi, this is Airman Zapata from Orlando. I'd like to say hi to my mom and my dad and all my family back home. 
Hi, my name is Aaron Branch, and I'm from Lake Butler, Florida. I'd like to give a say hey to all my family back home, my sisters, and my friend in California who will be home in December. Hi, this is Airman Thompson. I'm from Oregon, and I'd like to say hi to my mom and all my friends from church. Hi, this is Airman Anderson. I'd just like to say hi to my family back home and, you know, be good. Hi, my name's Nick. <laughs> Can you do that? Nicholas Everschuk uh, from Tucson, Arizona. I'd like to say hi to my mom, my stepdad, my girlfriend, everybody else. Y'all be good. Uh, this is Aaron McConnell. I'd just like to say hi to all my family back home, and I miss you guys a lot. And especially a hello to my lady of my life, Rachel. I love you, and see you soon. Hi, uh, this is Aaron Northwell. I just want to, I'm from St. Louis. I want to say hi to my mom, dad, and Tasha, and my sister. That's all. Hey, that is Aaron Mallet. I'm from Montezuma, Georgia. I'd just like to say hi to all my folks back home, my girlfriend, Quinetta, and that's it. Whole MTZ, baby. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron Sanford. I'd like to say hello to my family, friends, girlfriends. They, they say it in the Hi, Aaron Morgan. I'd like to say hi, and I love you to all my family and friends. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aaron Baker. I'd like to say hi to my family, my friends, and my girlfriend, Jen. Hi, I'm Aaron Williams. I'd like to say hello to all my friends, family, and all my relatives back home in Alabama. <laughs> hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Aaron Struts. I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family back in Minnesota. Hi, I'm Airman Ernster, and I'd like to say hello to my friends and family in Iowa. Hi, I'm Airman Minitry. I'd like to say hi to all my family and friends back in Hampton, Virginia. Hi, I'm Airman Mann, and I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family back in Tennessee. Hi, I'm Airman Harvey. I'd like to say hi to my family, my friends back at Mercy University, and my church family. Hi, I'm Airman Chapel. I'd just like to say hi to my mom and dad. I love you all, and I can't wait to see you on the 27th. Hi, I'm Airman Goodwin. I'd like to say hi to my wife, Christy, and my two-and-a-half-year-old son and both my parents, and hope everything's going well. Hi, I'm Airman Brooks. I'd like to say hi to my lovely wife, Kelly, and my beautiful daughter, Alicia, and everyone back home in Jackson, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Airman Basic Letch. I'd like to say hi to all my friends and family in New Jersey, especially my mom and dad. Love you. Hi, my name is Tom Hensley. I'm from California. I'd like to say hi to my parents and my fiance back home. I love y'all. Hi, I'm Airman Fitting, Oakland, Oregon. I'd like to say to my, hi to my mom, my stepdad, my dad, and my stepmom, and my girlfriend, Lindsay, and all my friends, such as Curtis and Levi. Hi, I'm Aaron McGillivray, and I'd just like to say hi to my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend back in Newburgh, Oregon. Hi, my name is Airman Maldonado. I like to, I'm from Panama, I'd like to say hello to my mom, my dad, to my girlfriend, Anna, he, and to all my friends, the muchachos de la banda. Hi, I'm Aaron Moles, I'm from Red House, West Virginia. I'd like to say hi to all my family back home, my girlfriend's parents, and especially my girlfriend, Sean, I love you. Hi, I'm Aaron Mangino, I'm from Charlestown, West Virginia, or Martinsburg, West Virginia, and I'd like to say hi to my mom, my brothers, and my uncle, my grandfather, and my friends.
States Air Force has a proud history in the defense of our country and the preservation of our way of life. 
These airmen have been challenged to carry on with this tradition of excellence. Each one found the strength and perseverance to meet and reach their goal. They have stepped forth to write new pages of distinguished service with their newfound confidence and with the knowledge of those who went before. The pride and success of yesterday, the honor and tradition of today, and the desire and hopes for the future, the United States Air Force. Thank you.